Hello, I'm filmmaker Jackson Polk, with a thanks for those who helped fund the live internet cameras that we placed at the El Paso Smelter Smokestacks Demolition Zone on April 13, 2013. We video recorded these cameras for a documentary, and KVIA-TV El Paso put them live on the air as the event happened. To continue our documentary coverage, we decided to put live internet cameras at the former smelter site on the edge of the drop zone at the administration building. Just like that, that's beautiful. With extensive help from KVIA TV engineers, we had four internet cameras microwaved to the KVIA master control room, where the station could take the cameras and live on their newscasts, right, right in there. and Capstone Productions could also send the cameras streaming live on the website, ephistory.com. We had hundreds of TV internet viewers from Arizona to Germany. This is looking pretty good. It needs to come up. I mean, it can come up just a tad to get the top of the stack. Okay. Our documentary cameras included TV crews on top of Mount Crystal Ray, three cameras at the media center, one camera on top of KVIA TV, one in a powered parachute glider, five in various arroyos and on hillsides, one camera on top of a house near Kern Place, plus those four internet cameras at the former Smelters Administration Building. We just hoped that the dust storms and the water cannons would not disable those cameras before the drop. So preparations were in place as Demolition Day, April 13th, approached. This was becoming the largest TV coverage event in El Paso history. What to expect? Um, the media area will be accessible to the media at 5 a.m. You'll need to have your credentials. Uh, the media area access will be closed at 6 a.m. Um, the most likely time for the demolition will be 6.45 in the morning. Uh, we will have a misting system that will be started about 20 minutes before the blast and will be allowed to run until all the water is consumed about 20 to 30 minutes after the blast itself. Uh, we will be setting up a, a series of signals. Uh, five minutes to the blast, we will raise the flag in the media area. Three minutes to the blast, we'll have a fireworks fired off so you can see it. On the stack demo, there is a, cer a certain sequence that we'll be following. The 600 foot stack will go first. Uh, it'll take approximately 15 to 20 seconds for that stack to fall. Uh, nine seconds after the 600-foot stack blast have, has gone through, the 800-foot blast will go off. And then the 800-foot stack will take about 20 to 30 seconds to fall. We could still use some help to fund the editing of this unique documentary. Please consider buying a DVD in advance on the Indiegogo website, or maybe funding a perk package on that website to help us complete the TV documentary, Last Tour of the El Paso Smelter, Volume 1, The Stacks. Perhaps you could also send this information on to a friend or someone who you think might be interested in this part of El Paso's history. Last Tour of the El Paso Smelter at ephistory.com. Thanks.